In this video, we'll explore Tonic's comprehensive library of generators. So what is a generator? A generator is an algorithm designed to transform a specific data type in your source data to create similar values for that data type in your destination database. Tonix generators do most of the work of de-identifying your source data. For example, a generator might scramble characters or generate a new value that uses the same format as the original value. In a new workspace, all columns are assigned the pass-through generator. The pass-through generator does exactly that. It passes through the value from the source database to the destination database without making any changes to it. To transform and protect the data in a column, you need to assign a generator other than pass-through. How do you decide which generator to use? That's based on a number of factors, including the type of data in question and the type of value. Some generators are intended for specific types of values. For example, Tonic provides generators that are tailored to names, geographic locations, email addresses, and IP addresses. Tonic also offers generators that operate on daytime values. For example, you might shift a date by a day, week, or month. Another set of tonic generators transforms numeric values. For example, you might want to replace a numeric value with a random integer or a sequence of integers. There are also generators that are intended for primary key columns. These generators ensure uniqueness and maintain foreign key relationships in your data. Other generators do other types of general value replacement or masking. For example, they might substitute characters or scramble values. Finally, there are composite generators, which are more complex. Composite generators allow you to apply other generators to a specific portion of a value or based on a condition. For example, when utilizing the JSON mask generator, we use a JSON path to identify the correct value to de-identify. So in this case, where we have both a name value and a location value, we'll identify the, the correct path expression and then apply the appropriate generator to each. For the name, we'll use the first name in this instance. And then for the location, uh, in this case, we're going to de-identify the city. We will apply an address generator and make sure that we select the correct option here to get a city value. How do you apply generators in Tonic? Well, we can apply them here in the table view, like we just did for that JSON column. We can also apply them in the Privacy Hub, if you would like to. or we can apply them in the database view. Let's apply a generator to this first name column. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do here uh, is to select the correct generator type. So we'll grab a name generator in this instance. And now Tonic is going to give us a few different generator options to make sure that this is configured correctly. So in this case, the name type that we're working with is just first name. So we'll select that. Now, Tonic is also going to give us options on whether or not we want to preserve capitalization. That can be important sometimes with names, so we're going to go ahead and apply that here. And lastly, Tonic is also going to give us the option to turn on consistency. Now, if you haven't heard of consistency or you'd like more info, please check out our video on consistency. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that on for now. And once we do, uh, lastly, we can check out the de-identified or protected output that Tonic is creating using that generator. Recap, Tonic's generators do the work of transforming your real data into realistic fake data. Tonic has generators that are designed for different data types and values, and you can assign generators to columns and then configure any generator options. And that concludes our introduction to Tonic's generators. To learn more, check out our other videos, our blogs, or the Tonic product docs.